does the program only work if you have some credit available? Okay, Velocity Banking, in an ideal world, Stephanie, right? Ideally, yes, ideally, which is why I teach Velocity Banking pregame work, which let's go to my uh, tips over here, right? Let's go to some tips. I'm gonna skip over some. We're gonna go right here, Stephanie. This one's for you, Stephanie. Do not rush Velocity Banking. Do not apply too early. Reach out before applying. That That's for you, Stephanie, right? If I don't help anyone on this call and I just help Stephanie, boom. This is you right here. Don't rush Velocity Banking, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. It's not that serious. It's a concept and it's meant to add to, right? Velocity Banking is meant to add to add to it add to your existing strategy improve it accelerate it think of velocity banking as like one of those like a nitrous boost in a car right velocity banking isn't the whole car right your personal foundation is the whole car velocity banking is you throwing in some nitrous into the vehicle and it's just going to take you on a whole trip but now here's the issue if you got nitrous right in your vehicle and you have terrible steering handling what are you gonna do when you hit that nitrous uh, oh my god All right and you're gonna go you know you hit the gas and you're gonna spin out does that make sense so that's what happens when people try to rush rush velocity banking they try to hit the nitrous nitrous boost on it and they're like this and they and they spin out of control they have no idea what they're doing they try to force it to happen oh can i do this with this and this with that and and look Maybe there's some fault on my part because I'm giving people hope, right? Where I'm doing case studies, negative cash flow, right? Velocity banking with negative cash flow, velocity banking with uh, zero cash flow, velocity banking with $50 a month in cash flow, low cash flow, 200 bucks. Yes, but in an ideal position, I would rather you not get there, right? I would rather you not get there. If you do get there, then boom, 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 boom. Here's what we're going to do to recover. But it's not like we're going to stay there, right? Like that's the thing. We don't want to stay in there, in that position. So ideally, yes, I want space, uh, available credit to, to work with initially. And if I don't have it, guess what? Guess what? We going to do the old school, old school debt snowball or cash flow index, which is actually better. Right, and we'll get into that. All right, old school. Say, so, okay, just line your finances up. That's from smallest to greatest. Let's see which one we need to attack to get the most cash flow. Uh, let's see how much our credit score is, and we need to improve that. Great, 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 great. So hopefully that was valuable to you, Stephanie. That's one of the velocity banking tips. We talked about your your chunk range, cash flow times 12, 66% of the credit limit. And we talked about do not over leverage, gave you a couple examples on that because we are in a high interest rate environment, right? And interest rates have been going up consistently all through 2022 and 2023. You're going to want to check your rate. If you have a home equity line of credit, a PLOC, a credit card that you're using to do velocity banking, please check your rate every single month because that's typically how often they're, they're changing. So that's just a quick tip. When you do that, then double check your math, double check the cost of borrowing because maybe you started off with a 5% rate and it jumped to 8.5. So your borrowing cost is going to be off if you're still running on a 5% rate. So make sure you double check your cost of borrowing. Go ahead and add cash flow index formula to velocity banking. What is cash flow index formula? Here it is. It's the balance owed divided by monthly minimum required payment equals number. If that number is 50 or less, right? If it's below 50, it is going to be an attractive debt to go after. If it is above 50, it is going to be a unattractive debt to go after. And that's how you would put it in order, right? So if you had a $5,000 debt, 10,000, 15, and 20, right? So you have four debts. Debt snowball says what? You would pay this because it's the smallest debt. And then you work your way up and up and up, creating a snowball effect, right? Now, what if this $5,000 debt only had a payment of 100 bucks and the interest rate was 0%? Now 
And let's say this debt is 500. And this one is 700. And this one is 900. So what cash flow index will probably tell us, let's see. Sometimes cash flow index will line up with debt snowball and that's cool. When it doesn't, I'm taking cash flow index over debt snowball because I'm going to actually pay off debt faster, right? And cash flow index is not doing velocity banking. It's just telling you where to apply your money, which is really cool because then that's going to improve velocity banking. It's going to tell us what to chunk at effectively. So 5,000 divided by hundred bucks, that got a 50. 10,000 divided by 500, that got a 20. So in cash flow index formula, we would skip over the smallest debt and we would jump to this one. 15,000 divided by 700, got a 21.42. So guess what? After paying this one off, according to cash flow index, you would have to go to this one before you hit this one, right? And then 20,000 divided by 900, that got a 22.2. So according to cash flow index, you would go this way, this way, this way, and then back to the smallest debt, right? Because it's it's looking at this number, cash flow. The more cash flow you have, the faster you will pay off debt. So if they took, if you, you were to take all the time it would take to pay this five to only get a hundred back, versus the person that started here, yeah, the balance was higher, but because the monthly payment is higher, they actually could get ahead of this person. So they pay the 10 off, and the 10 was at these higher interest rates than 0%, right? So very, 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 very powerful strategy there. Again, that's the formula. You take the balance owed, you divide it by the monthly minimum required payment, you get a number, if it's less than 50, you go in order. The, the, the lower the number that closest to zero, that's the debt you would pay off first. And then you would continue up from there.